Could Cruz still be over six months away from returning? That's what one big Floridian port is saying. Plus, could children be barred from cruising when it first returns? We have this and all of the cruise news updates you need to know, so stay tuned. Well, well, ahoy there, cruisers. Welcome to this Cruise News Roundup. If you want to stay on top of what's going on in the cruise industry, make sure you subscribe to our channel right now by hitting that subscribe button down below. So first up, that headline news from Port Canaveral. It says it believes it won't see a cruise ship until at least July. As you know, it's one of the largest passenger cruise ports in the world, handling around 4.5 million cruise passengers every single year. They've said when it does start up, they expect it to be a real slow restart and a very careful approach. Port CEO Captain John Murray said, The cruise lines themselves have kicked everything down the road for three months already, or at least through March and April. The reality given the pandemic right now, until those numbers start coming down, we just don't see that this industry is going to get any attention it needs to get restarted. He also said vaccinations would need to increase before he expects the restart to happen. And it's not just cruise lines who have been bleeding money, it's the ports themselves. For example, Port Canaveral has lost a massive $43 million over the last year. They are moving $17 million from its reserve funds to help balance the budget. And they've said that they're going to be fine for at least another year without any passengers cruising. Port Canaveral is home to ships from Carnival Cruise Line, Disney Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean and Norwegian. MSC Cruises also plans to home port its ship, the MSC Seaside, at Port Canaveral once the pandemic is over. This then really reiterates what we have been saying the past couple of months. First of all, it's going to be a slow start when cruise does come back. And secondly, that the shutdown of the cruise industry affects more than just the cruise ships themselves. People on land in the ports, for example, huge knock-on effects from the fact that cruise isn't running at the moment. This video is sponsored by our friends at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of creative people come together and enhance and learn brand new skills. There's absolutely thousands of classes on all types of subject. It has really helped us get through this pandemic kept the old ticker in there in its place. Yeah, we've learned so many brand new skills. Our new look on our channel, as well as our graphics and animations, are all thanks to the new skills we've picked up on Skillshare. It doesn't matter if you're a pro or just a beginner. There's something for all levels. Yeah, and the classes teach you things you actually need to know and are led by people who know what they're talking about. We both learn best visually and by seeing and using examples provided by the classes, you learn and take away so much more. Yep, yeah, and now really is the perfect time to join. A new year, a brand new you. Just think you could massively improve your video and photography skills for your next cruise, making your memories last a lifetime in perfect and beautiful resolution and quality. And because we're working with Skillshare, the first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description section below will get a free trial of premium membership. And if you choose to continue, it's less than $10 per month. Literally the same price as three coffee but just think of what you're going to be learning. There's no ads, you can learn on the go on your phone or tablet. And Skillshare are always launching brand new classes. So go on, click the link. Now back to the show. Next up, everything has came to a standstill, unfortunately. Cruise lines are desperately trying to comply with the CDC's conditional sailing order. The order, which replaced the no sail order last October, requires brand new health and safety protocols on board its ships. It also requires cruise lines to hold test cruises and recertify each vessel individually. So as you can imagine, this is a huge complex job. The major cruise lines have said that they are making progress with the requirements, but things have come to a standstill with the CDC. They are waiting further direction on what to do next, but with the pandemic hitting the USA so hard, it isn't a priority for them at the moment. We are now casting doubts on our own prediction of crews being up and running by July. This is now looking more and more unlikely. We wouldn't be surprised if we don't see resumption of cruising this year at all, or even into fall 2021. So one cruise analyst has predicted the same thing that we've just said, that crews will not resume till at least fall. 
Patrick Scholes, a prominent cruise industry financial analyst, has indicated we might be waiting a while yet. In a recent note to investors, he said an optimistic view is that cruises likely won't resume from US ports until at least the second half of the year, and possibly not even into 2022. But he did offer some positive news, saying that bookings for future cruises are now exceeding cancellations. This is the first time this has happened since March 2020, so it's good to see more bookings than cancellations. He also commented on the CDC's conditional sale order, saying that it was basically a no-sale order with a new name. He also highlighted that the CDC's new order was very hard to achieve, saying, The concern is that the CDC's hurdles are so high that it will make it extremely difficult for the cruise lines to sail with paid customers. So as we've been saying all along, the CDC has been making it incredibly hard for cruise lines to sail and resume compared to other forms of transportation such as flights, land transportation, land vacations, theme parks being open, the Disney Resort in Florida being open, for example. How come they're allowed to open? But cruise lines are being made to jump through these ridiculous hurdles. But as you said from the expert there, the new conditional order is just a no-sale order with different clothes. It's exactly the same thing. Yeah, and since that came in, we've actually not seen any progress, really, have we, from any of the cruise lines except Royal Caribbean, who was the only one we said last week actively looking for volunteers. Yeah, cruise lines haven't actively dissed the CDC yet, but they have said they are waiting for technical protocols from them. So they are waiting for the CDC to get back to them. So nothing's happening at the moment, unfortunately. Now, more news on vaccines being required to cruise. As you know, a few weeks ago, we brought you the news of British Cruise Line Saga requiring everybody to have a vaccination to cruise. Well, we had a very mixed response. Some people were very happy, others were super angry, especially those who couldn't have the vaccine due to allergies, blood and heart conditions. Now, Norwegian Cruise Line has said they're looking into the legalities into requiring a virus. CEO Frank Del Rio said, it's too early to tell whether we have the legal standing to mandate that you will take a vaccine to come on board. Lawyers are looking at it as we speak. One problem with this is that NCL's passengers are much younger than Saga's. It could take months or even years until the under 65s receive the vaccination. Some countries will only be offering it to older and more vulnerable people. This means that they're cutting off a huge percentage of passengers who could travel with them. Norwegian also revealed that it requires all crew members to be vaccinated against COVID-19 before resuming work on its ships, which is fantastic news. In contrast to this, Saga isn't going to require this for their crew, putting them in more danger of contracting the virus. And here in the UK, it's the government's plan to vaccinate all over 18s by fall this year. So this puts into the question, what about children? The vaccination is not going to be given to under 18s because it's frankly not approved to be done so. So does this mean that children under 18 will not be allowed to cruise when it resumes as they will be unable to have the vaccine? We can certainly see it being a possibility when cruising first resumes. Saga, as we said, have already said if you can't have the vaccine due to the many health conditions stopping people, you will still be refused to travel Kids could be the same. We're still not happy about this. We still think this is disability discrimination and Saga shouldn't be doing this. But children and teens are far less likely than adults to become seriously ill with the virus, but they are just as capable of carrying and spreading it. For cruise lines such as Norwegian, Carnival, Disney and Royal Caribbean, who carry loads of family and kids, this could be a massive issue and cutting off huge portions of their audience. But as soon as we hear more, we'll let you know. So hit that subscribe button. And talking about Norwegian Cruise Line, in some bad news, all Norwegian Cruise Line's non-essential crew will be repatriated home by April 2021. Norwegian Cruise Line brought thousands of crew members back to its cruise ships in November and December of last year to prepare the ships for a possible restart in compliance with the CDC's conditional sale order. Over a thousand crew members boarded the Norwegian Escape in Mumbai, India and over 1,200 crew joined the Norwegian Joy in Manila, Philippines. But with the continued pushback on the resumption of crews, they have decided to send all non-essential crew back home. This was a very difficult decision for Norwegian, and they've said that they're going to prioritise those crew who they sent home to get back on the ship once it does start resailing. But they think that the crew are going to be happier at home with their families. So now the two ships will now make their way back to where the crew boarded to offload the crew. The Norwegian Encore, 
example, is in Southampton at the moment, so it's going to make its way all the way back to Mumbai in India to return those crew home. Sad news, but again, showing we are no closer to a restart. Guys, this hurts our heart so much. And in other news, as we predicted a few weeks ago, Sycamore Partners, the company who bought Asmara, have purchased the Pacific Princess from Princess Cruises. High five, Ben, on getting that prediction right. Yay! The private equity firm bought the boutique cruise line Asmara from Royal Caribbean Cruise last week in a surprise move. Should be added to the fleet of their existing three ships after a big renovation. Can't wait to see what she's looked like or what she's going to be called. So all of the Asmara ships, Journey, Pursuit, have something to do with movement or journey? Let us know your guesses of what the ship's going to be called in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, in Europe, unfortunately, Costa Cruises has decided to postpone the restart of its ships till at least March the 13th. This is following an evaluation of the measures in the Italian government's decree currently enforced in Italy regarding travel. So basically, the cruise line didn't feel with the current restrictions placed by the government that it would allow its customers to have a good time on its cruises, especially on land with all of the new restrictions. They said, we support the collective effort that Italy is making to deal with the health emergency and we look forward to a mid-March for our return, offering guests a relaxing and enjoyable vacation experience. So even in Europe, where cruise lines have been getting up and running, there's still pushbacks. Guys, it still seems like we're a far off from any sort of cruising in the USA and a restart around the world. It's really unfortunate, but thanks for sticking with us. We're going to bring you all of the latest news every single week. Yeah, unfortunately, a bit of a downbeat news show this week. Feel, things do feel like they've taken a bit of a step back, don't they, this week, Ben? So that's it till next time. Thank you so much for watching us. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps support the channel and we've got so much fab content on the way, especially when we finally get to cruise. So yeah, subscribe, please. Thank you. And please don't forget to hit that link in the description section below from our sponsors, Skillshare. It's a really great product that we really recommend. And a big thank you to all of our patrons. It's because of your support that you can keep this channel running. You can find out more about becoming a patron by clicking the link in the description section below. Yeah, and we give you loads of extra content, podcasts, photos, a behind the scenes looks. So yeah, please do consider coming up a patron. It really helps us out. And the captain of the week is Tracy. So ahoy, ahoy. there, Tracy. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.